was at a, um, an ICW show in Wales, um, and I usually dressed, like at that time, I usually dressed smart to shows, right? But it was on tour, so I was like, ah, you know what, I'll just wear my t-shirt. <laughs> I'm walking through the right. corridor, and, and honestly, I'm on one side of the corridor, door opens, one person walks through, and it's Triple H. And I'm just wearing casual gear. Now that's it's not a big yeah. deal, but you know, I could it would have been better if I was wearing a suit, right? Well, yeah, yeah. And it's not a big deal until it becomes a big deal. Yeah. See, there there's the thing too, real quick, just so everyone understands this. I get it. I totally understand being on tour, especially in, in, in Wales or overseas, wherever it may be. Um, it's not a big deal. Most of the time it's really not a big deal. But you never know. You just never know. And that would be the, the what would separate you from the guys who are wearing sweats and T-shirt and stuff like yeah. that from somebody who's... Yes, that oh, could have wait, been a chance to stand out. Uh, yeah, and and that's what you have to think about. Yeah, I, I totally understand the convenience. I totally understand the pain in the ass it is to, to carry a suit, to look that part. I totally understand it. But when I tell people that, you may not ever work an hour in your life. No, you may not. But guess what? Kofi Kingston did. So did Natty Neidhart. They were all in FCW. Yeah. And so I have other guys. And they all told me, said, man, we never knew what you were talking about until that time came. Yes. And it's like, yeah, those are those things that, that we can talk about. And people, ah, pff, oh, that old guy. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait. You mean I have to go an hour tonight? I got to do a gauntlet match? I can do it. So anyway, that, yeah, not a big deal, but it could have been a deal where they said, Hmm. As opposed to, oh yeah, yeah, what about those guys? No, I'm looking at this guy. Yeah, it's uh, it's. I think that's a very good point. Like I've found this, it, just to build on what you were saying there, Tom. One of the biggest regrets I've had in my career is there have been moments where what I'm very good at is if I know something big is coming up, I'll get myself in great shape, cardio's fantastic, you know, I'll be practiced in top form. But what I l- only learned a little bit later in my career is that most of the time you don't get the heads up. The biggest opportunities right. I've had in my career have come because somebody else could not do it. Like I've won right. titles, I've had huge matches with huge stars, former world champions, because, and most of the time, it's because someone else couldn't do it. I got my debut in ICW because someone else couldn't make that, right? And it's like, I remember, uh, this is working TV for a company, the opportunity came up, I didn't know it was going to be coming, and I remember, it was just after, it was just bef- uh, like in the middle of my comeback, or just after it, and I remember thinking, why have I done this to myself? I would rather be ready and go through that pain in the gym than in the match. And there's no worse regret when you're sitting there and you're going, I wish I had that extra 5%, 10% in the tank right now. Well, exactly. And that's what uh, JR and, and all of, pardon me, all of our big uh, uh, beef was, I guess, when people would say, when I get my break, when I get my shot, when I get my push, then I'm going to get in shape. No. You never know when that push is going to happen. You never know when the opportunity is going to meet it. And they say, wait, you know, luck is preparation. When preparation opportunity meet. Yep, that's it. Uh, you know, there's no such thing as luck. It, it really is preparation and opportunity. And there is your opportunity. And it may it may come again or it may never come again. So that's, that is imperative. It, it, it's essential if you're going to be a success. You've got to be ready. I you often can't wait and say, I, yeah, sorry, I yeah, often find it's no. a lot like relationships, you know, when you're not looking for one, one comes along. It's like you never well, know ah. when it's going to happen. And actually in 2019, I think it was, that's when I was like, right, you know what? I'm going to really learn about fitness. I'm really going to start proper powerlifting, make sure I'm getting 230 grams of protein a day. And I just did that with no, no real opportunities coming my way for six to nine months or whatever. But then the call from Ring of Honor came and I was ready, you know, so I learned, but I, I it was, it was a hard lesson. And I would rather people listening to this learned it the easy way by listening to us. <laughs> well, 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 not necessarily easy. It, it's simple. It really is simple when we say just stay prepared. But, but you never know when that is going to come. And and uh, if you don't stay prepared, uh, you will get passed by. Natty Neidhart lost, I think, seven opportunities. Now she she got passed up seven times on a tryout to go to WWE seven times and some people might just give up but she didn't because she believed in herself and she changed each time she was told to change um 
so she kept progressing and she kept asking and she kept she kept going you know when you're going through hell just keep yeah. going uh th that's what you got to do if, if you really want to do this that there's no easy way there's a simple way i can yeah. tell you get in shape keep plugging keep doing what you want to do keep believing have a positive mindset do not tell yourself you're horrible do not tell yourself you it because your body listens to that and your yep. body either subconsciously and consciously it tells you if you're telling it no 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 it'll say you're right no 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 but if yeah. you start believing and you get out of that that hole you're in uh you will make progress there, I, I totally agree like there's there's a, a phrase i like which is choose your struggle which i guess when you say the simple way it's like do you want you we're gonna have to struggle it's like trying to keep above water you're gonna have to do the same amount of swimming but do you want to be underneath the water or above the water and for me it's just like if you're willing to put in the time on beforehand you can do it on your terms whereas if you have to play catch up to get ready for an opportunity that's frantic and that adds stress to the situation as well and it can, it can be mentally tough it's all mentally tough, and there's 24 hours in a day. Uh, people say I need this many hours of sleep. Yeah. Well, do you really? <laughs> I yeah. mean, what? What? How many hours do you need <laughs> to succeed? How many hours do you need in preparation? How many hours of training and practice? How many hours? How many days? How many weeks? Months? Years? Are you willing to put in? Some people, like John Cena, let's just use him as an example, uh, who would put in tireless, endless hours, days weeks and months and years and people didn't see the behind the scenes of of every minute of his day was accounted for yeah. every i mean everything he did was geared towards his success yeah. and there is nothing that comes easy uh again it's simple here's the steps to take but w when you're taking those steps what really are the uh, particulars and details uh that those people do in their steps that you're missing and they're climbing when you're staying right here. And that's what you have to ask.